As we talk today, there have recently been some reports that the Chinese have a uh, hypersonic missile yeah. that can theoretically go into space and then come down with a nuclear bomb, escaping our ability to uh, 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 knock it down. Is that something I should be worried about or all Americans should? Кушай, кушай. Корка, I have to tell you and reiterate that we are very concerned uh, by the uh, PRC's provocative military uh, activity near Taiwan. Tension certainly is growing between China and Taiwan, and that in turn is prompting a new debate about whether the U.S. needs a new policy approach to prevent China from making a move on Taiwan, an act that could start a wider war in Asia and between the U.S. and China specifically. As we said, the activity is destabilizing. It risks miscalculation. And it includes our military capability and our international support. Support bolstered, she says, by Taiwan's critical importance to the global supply chain. The island is a world leader in semiconductors. Taiwan was Asia's fastest growing economy last year, a fact President Tsai proudly points out over lunch. This is one of my favorite food. All right. Despite everything, she appears calm and confident. You talked about how really the situation is so complex now. Yeah, it is very complex. This is probably the cha most challenging time for people of Taiwan. You, you read the outside headlines, the most dangerous place on earth. We read these um, reports as a reminder to us as to what sort of the threats that we're under and uh, we have to get ourselves better uh, prepared. But we're not panicked, we're not anxious uh, because oh, we have gone through so many uh, difficulties uh, in the past. She says Taiwan's future must be decided by its people, the people who've worked hard over the last 70 years to build the world's only Chinese-speaking democracy, a democracy under growing threat. Okay. No, what the heck, I'll laugh anyway. <laughs>